guys. In this video, we're going to talk about NEO. Large call volume and speculation here to the upside still. Um, it looks like we're holding this lower trend line here, which is going to be right around that $37, uh, $36.5, call it, um, range here on the four-hour chart. Now, anywhere below that, it's going to be $35. That's the main support. But it looks like we should get a nice bounce here coming soon on that lower trend line that we kind of set up since the beginning of March. Stochastics here on the four-hour, you're looking at 31, RSI 36. Going forward, resistance is going to be this 50-day moving average, but really, um, that's right around $40. But really, the main resistance that's going to probably have a little bit of trouble with is going to be right around this 4 41 20 area now above that it might get a little bit of a chop zone here between 41 and 46 that's kind of what happened between these two days or two weeks here um but um above that 46 we're looking at this 200 day moving average now we did mention that there's um obviously some call speculation here um in our options chain you have around uh one dollar and fifty cent expected move by this Friday. So um, you have low IV in here. So look for a little bit of expansion one way or another in there. Um, everything's still really pretty cheap. Um, like we said, IV ranks really low. That's kind of means everything sort of IV is pretty cheap. So um, your April monthly is 80%. You're basically 70 all throughout, all throughout May and everything. Earnings May 27th, but we got a ways to go there. So should pick up once we kick in probably mid-May, somewhere around there. Um, but until then, uh, fairly cheap in here. So, I mean, you the 40s, the the 40 strike calls today had 41,000 volume on them. So, and they're, they're, they're pretty cheap at 13 cents. Um, so, and that's just on the monthlies here. So, uh, f fairly cheap in here. Um, and we could get probably two, time ex two times expected move here by Friday. We'll have to see what happens. But anyway, just to reiterate again, 37, 35, you're looking at 40, 41, and then above that 46 or that 200-day moving average, whichever one does come first. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on our social media. We have attached the links to our socials in the description, and we also have a swing trading service if you're interested. There's more information in the description below.